the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, a child is born to us. A son has been given to us. And that son is the greatest gift that God can ever give to each one of us. Let us open our hearts to receive that gift. To prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us now call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and the saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, you take Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> o God, who wonderfully created the dignity of human nature, and still more wonderfully restored it. Grant, we pray, that we may share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of him who brings glad tidings, announcing peace, bearing good news, announcing salvation, and saying to Zion, Your God is King. Hark, your sentinels raise a cry. Together they shout for joy, for they see directly before their eyes the Lord restoring Zion. Break out together in song, O ruins of Jerusalem, for the Lord comforts his people. He redeems Jerusalem. The Lord has barred his holy arm in the sight of all the nations. All the ends of the earth will behold the salvation of our God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. The Lord has made his salvation known. In the sight of the nations, he has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness. Toward the house of Israel. All the nations of the earth have seen the saving power of God. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Break into song, sing praise. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. 
Sing praise to the Lord with the heart, with the heart and melodious song, with trumpets and the sound of the horn. Sing joyfully before the King, the Lord. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God, and all things came to be through Him. Without Him, nothing came to be. It came to be through Him was life. And this life was the life of the human race. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness does not overcome it. A man named John was sent from God. He came for testimony to testify to the light, so that all might believe through him. He was not the light, but he came to testify to the light. The true light, which enlightens everyone, has come into the world. He was in the world, and the world came to be through him. The world did not know him. He came to what was his own, but his own people did not accept him. But to those who did accept him, he gave power to become children of God. 
to those who believe in his name, who were born not by natural generation, nor by human choice, nor by, by, by man's decision, but God. And the word became flesh and made his dwelling among us, and we saw his glory. The glory was of the Father's only Son, full of grace and truth. John testified to him and cried out, saying, This is the one of whom I said, The one who is coming after me ranks ahead of me, because he existed before me. From his fullness we have all received grace in place of grace, because while the law was given through Moses, grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God. The only Son, God, who is at the Father's side, has revealed it. the Gospel of the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Feliz Navidad. It is a joy to see all of you here this morning and to celebrate uh, with all of you the nativity of our Lord Jesus Christ. You know, this is the greatest uh, uh, celebration of our faith. You know, it is a day uh, of great joy for the universal church and for the whole world. It's all alegría verlos a todos aquí esta mañana celebrar con todos ustedes la Navidad de nuestro Señor Jesucristo. Es un día de gran, de gran alegría para la Iglesia Universal y para el mundo entero. Now, my dear brothers and sisters, the magnificent passage that you just heard is from the opening of St. John's Gospel. And there is no mention of Bethlehem or Mary of shepherds or the stable and the manger. But why are we reading this gospel this morning? Now the Bethlehem story of course uh, was told during the last night celebration. But this morning uh, we are, as it were, going behind the scenes and looking at the deeper meaning of that story. Now, while the Gospels of Luke and Matthew recount the traditional infancy narrative, John's Gospel that we just heard proclaims the Incarnation. And the Word became flesh and lived among us. And we have seen His glory, the glory as of a Father's only Son, full of grace and truth. Y aquel que es la palabra se hizo hombre y, ha, y habitó entre nosotros. Hemos visto su gloria, gloria que le corresponde como a un, un ingénito del Padre lleno de gracia y de verdad. Now, God has become human person, a human person like us. He has come to to dwell in our midst, to live with us, and work among us. He has entered our world, making us his children, to share in his divinity, showering us with, John said, grace upon grace. My dear brothers and sisters, there is nothing in this world that tops that. The letter to the Hebrews from our second reading today tells us God in the past spoke to us through many prophets and others spoke persons. But now, he said, he has spoken to us through his Son because the Son is the Word of God. This sun is the radiant light of God's glory and 
called the perfect copy of this nature. Ahora en estos tiempos, nos ha hablado por medio de su Hijo. Este Hijo es el resplandor de la gloria de Dios, la imagen fiel de su ser. Jesus has become our Emmanuel, God with us, God dwelling in our midst, entering into our human nature, in our human world. The second, the second person of the Trinity. That's what it means, Emmanuel. It means there's nothing more in human life and joy and pain and sorrows and even dying that God is not in it also. God is with us as deeply as we can imagine, as deeply as we can we, we allow Him. God is not only beside us, but beside us always, but God within us. Always, as love, and credible love, and conditional love, and wavering love, that will never abandon us ever again. As John Shaya likes to say, there are no more unvisited places in our lives because God has entered into everything and our world is never the same again. Dios se hizo hombre como nosotros. Jesús es nuestro Emmanuel. Es, eso es lo que significa. Dios que está con nosotros, Dios que no solo uh, está siempre a, a nuestro lado, sino Dios dentro de nosotros, siempre como amor que nunca nos abandonará, nunca nos dejará, nunca más. Now I like what Horacio de la Costa, a Jesuit priest and author, uh, wrote about Christmas way back in 1950, and he wrote these words, quote, We were promised a Savior, but we never dreamed that God himself would come to save us. We knew that he loves us, but we never dared to think that he loves us so much as to become like us. But that is the way God gives. His gifts are never quite what we expect, but always something better, something far better than we hope for. We can only dream of things too good to be true. God has a habit of giving things too good to be false. Aren't those words wonderful? The great gift that God has given to us. Now, my brothers and sisters, today, in the silence of our hearts, as we celebrate this Eucharist that Jesus left us, and in the midst of what is happening in our lives, let us engage our heart and mind and reflect on the gift, the gift of incarnation, God dwelling in our midst and staying there, never leaving us. And let us give thanks to God for this extraordinary gift. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God, and the Word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. From John, chapter
31, verses 1 to 18. En el principio ya existía aquel que es la palabra, y aquel que es la palabra estaba con Dios y era Dios. Y aquel que es la palabra, es la palabra, se hizo hombre y habitó con nosotros. Now we should take the time to think in the silence of our homes and in the silence of our hearts, in the silence of our mass. What prophet uh, proclaimed, uh, what prophet Isaiah proclaimed last night, unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. Un niño nos ha nacido, un niño se nos ha dado. We should go to Bethlehem with the shepherds, enter the stable, and like them, fall on our knees. And in the stillness, we shall look, and we shall behold the young mother, her name is Mary, laying her child to rest. Come, let us adore him, that is all we need to do. Venite, venite adoremos, Domino. Please stand. Let us now recite our faith and in the part where it says, He came down from heaven, let us all kneel down. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in my Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten and made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he became God from him. This is his name. Those who suffer from illnesses, 
losses, and hardship, that God's grace may find them in unexpected and tender ways. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all of us gathered here on this joyous day, that we may see the presence of Jesus in each other, in all whom we know, and in all whom we have yet to meet, that we may be blessed with blessings in the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Let the dead, especially our departed brother, Rodrigo de Lorna, may be with their Savior in paradise. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. We can add our own prayers, our silence prayers, that we hold in the silence of our hearts, and for all our attention spoken and unspoken. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Continue to pray for all those children that have been afforded to let the down for the moments of their lives. Repentance for anyone who has taken any part of the abortion. Let us pray to the Lord. God of wonder and glory, help us to incarnate your Son in our lives so that we can share in you your most precious gift with whom we meet. Hear our prayers and grant them through your Son, Emmanuel, God with us, whose coming we proclaim in joyous exaltation. Amen. Amen. <laughs>
Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands. Your grace and the glory of His name are good and the good of all the soul. Make acceptable, O Lord, our oblation on this solemn day, which you, when you manifested the reconciliation that makes us wholly pleasing in your sight, and inaugurated for us the fullness of divine worship, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in the mystery of the Word made flesh, a new light of your glory has shone upon the eyes of our mind, so that as we recognize in Him God made visible, we may be caught up to Him in love of things invisible. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Son in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Son in the highest. You therefore, Almighty Father, we bless through Jesus Christ, your Son, who comes in your name. He himself is the word that brings salvation, the hand you extend to sinners, the way by which your peace is offered to us. When we ourselves had turned away from you on account of our sins, you brought us back to be reconciled to the Lord so that converted at last to you, we might love one another through your Son, whom for our sake you handed over to death. And now, celebrating the reconciliation Christ has brought us, we entreat you, sanctify these gifts by the outpouring of your Spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, whose command we fulfill when we celebrate these mysteries. For when about to give his life to set us free, as he reclined at supper, he himself took bread into his hands, and giving you thanks, he said a blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, on that same evening, he took the chalice of blessing in his hands, confessing your mercy, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for me, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Celebrating, therefore, the memorial of the death and resurrection of your Son, who let us this pledge of his love, we offer you what you have bestowed on us, the sacrifice of perfect reconciliation. Holy Father, 
we humbly beseech you to accept us also, together with your Son, and in the same banquet, graciously to endow us with his very Spirit, who takes away everything that estranges us from one another. May he make your church a sign of unity and an instrument of your peace among all people, and may he keep us in communion with Francis our Pope and Michael our Bishop and all the bishops and your entire people. Just as you have gathered us now at the table of your Son, so also bring us together with the glorious Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and all the saints, with our brothers and sisters and those of every race and tongue who have died in your friendship. Bring us to share with them the unending banquet of unity in the new heaven and the new earth, where the fullness of your peace will shine forth in Christ Jesus our Lord. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form a divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. To live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us all be generous and peace. Lamb of God, be taken away the sins of the world. Lamb of God, be taken away the sins of the world. Lamb of God, be taken away the sins of the world. Lamb of God, be taken away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are the called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am the Lord, if you should enter into my roof. But the message of the Lord is so sure. Mm -hmm.
please stand for the prayer for vocations. Lord Jesus Christ, you are the Savior of the world. Please manifest in your church the spirit of the also abundant to bestow in your apostles. Call many to Christian and redeem his life within our community. May it sing for your glory and for the salvation of the world. Inflame those you have chosen. May they be saints in your likeness. May your Holy Spirit strengthen them. May they be priests and religious according to your own heart. Amen. Let's pray. Grant to merciful God that just as the Savior of the world, born this day, is the author of divine generation for us, so he may, give, he may be the giver even of immortality, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. your heads and break your And in, in every blessing, we would respond, Amen. May the God of infinite goodness, who by the incarnation of his Son has driven darkness from the world, and by that glorious birth has illumined this most holy day, drive far from you the darkness of vice and illumine your hearts with the light of virtue. Amen. Amen. May God who will that the great joy of his son's saving birth be announced to shepherds by the angel. Fill your minds with the gladness he gives and make you heralds of his gospel. Amen. Amen. And may God, who by the incarnation brought together the earthly and heavenly realm, fill you with the gift of his peace and favor and make you sharers with the church in heaven. Amen. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. Let us go and be forth by each other for the life to live. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Our closing song will be at page 250, song number 158, Joy to the World. 